I'm Jessie from the Abbey Zoo and I'm actually the primary carnivore keeper. So if you look around, we have Jalen, the Amir Leopard. So I'm actually wearing a mask today because of the social distancing and all of the new policies that everyone all over the place has in store for them. So right now I'm going to try and talk a little bit loud so hopefully you can hear me pretty good. So Jalen is our Amir Leopard. You can say Amwar, Amir, everybody says it different no matter I think where you're at. So these guys, what's special about them, they are critically endangered. So they're actually one of the rarest cats of all big cats. So take a look at how beautiful he is. So look at his coat. We're gonna talk a little bit more about adaptations today. And if you watch the snow leopard video, we talked about adaptations with them as well. These guys have some different adaptations. If you look at his fur, he looks a lot fluffier. If you think about an African leopard, which is totally different species, different continent. These guys are found in Asia, but focus in on that fur. Looks pretty long right now. Well, these guys are found in temperate habitat forest area. Their fur is actually an adaptation for them because they live in areas that gets very, very cold as well as very, very hot. So their fur in the winter time grows for about two and three quarters inches long. And then in the summer, when they shed that winter coat, it goes down to about an inch long. So definitely in the summer, they're gonna look more like an African leopard than they do right now. So also their coloration is something we can talk about. Right now he's getting some of his meat. We scattered around his yard for enrichment for him today. But when you look at his coat color, it's actually a little bit more pale in color than compared to an African leopard. The reason it's paler is because it helps him camouflage in in the winter time. So as he eats, Take a look at his face. I think we can zoom in on his face and you can actually see him biting at that meat. Well, that's actually an adaptation that they have as well. Because in the wild, these guys will eat large animals like hoofstock animals. So seek a deer, roe deer. So those big muscles that you see right now as he's eating, you can see it in his cheeks. That's what helps him tear the meat off of his bones. So another thing that we can look at if he stands up for us, we'll give him a minute to finish eating. While he's finished eating, why don't you guys actually ask your mom or dads or pause the video and get a tape measure for me and a piece of chalk if you have it. And maybe you can go outside and start to watch this video again. All right, so here's what we're gonna talk about is one of his adaptations. So we said that he lives more in a temperate forest. So he can have anything from a rocky surrounding with a bunch of trees, he can have more of an open area. So these guys have to be able to live in all those different areas. So look at his legs. They actually have the longest legs out of all leopard species. So those legs are used for jumping, they're used for climbing, and believe it or not, they're actually used for swimming as well. So these guys are expert hunters, so they can swim, they can run up to 37 miles per hour with those legs. All right, so in just a minute, we're gonna play a game and you guys can play this with your brothers and sisters. And I even want you to get your moms and dads involved in this. All right, so I have a helper here with me today because normally I would have one of you guys help me. But since the zoo's closed, we're still gonna bring it to you this time. So you can play this game at home. So let me get a tape measure. All right, so this is Bree. She's gonna help me today. We're going to measure 20 feet. Bree 
Bree can beat that. Woo, let's, let's see, Bree. Woo! All right, but here's the question. Did we jump as far as an Amir Leopard? Did we jump all the way down here? Can you guys come close to that? Go ahead and give it a try. All right, so these guys, we know they can jump this far in front of them. Now, they can jump from here all the way to here, straight up in the air. I don't think I can do that either. I'm not gonna try that any harder than that. So now look at him. You can see him stretched out. See those powerful legs? So we're gonna end with one more thing. Basically, I'm gonna talk about how you guys can help these guys in the wild. I'm gonna give you a little bit of homework to do. So let me show you this sign. Is that right? So one of the reasons that these guys are critically endangered is because of habitat loss. So we talked about how they live in a forest temperate area, temperate forest area, let me say that right for you guys. So because of that, they live with trees. We can zoom in on this. This is FSC. Basically what this means is all your paper products that have this symbol on it is made from a sustainable wood source. So that means that trees where he lives are not taken down to make paper towels, Kleenexes, your drawing paper that you're using right now with your e-learning programs. So take a look. This is your homework for today. And when the zoo opens again, if you see me, I want you to tell me exactly what you found and what you guys bought with your family to help conserve this species in the wild. All right, we'll see you here when the zoo opens.